Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. So this is a very hot topic and something that I personally experienced. I wanna share off some knowledge to you guys just so you're aware of these things coming up. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to tell from a leaky injector or even a clogged injector that you get here on the tip. Now the leaking part is gonna be more so on the spark plug, but I'm gonna show you that so that way you can easily check that to see if you have an injector that's on its way out. All right, so first off, a clogged injector, right? So when you're running your engine, all that carbon deposit buildup is just all in, just inside. It's all in the internal engine. When your engine starts cooling down, all those carbon deposits are gonna just stick to things. And with your injectors being direct injection, right? It's on the top of the piston area. It's gonna get a lot of that carbon buildup that's just gonna sit there on the tip. So, you know, without pulling the entire injector out to see if it's clogged or not, I mean, a clogged injector, you're gonna run into issues like misfires, it's gonna mess up the fuel pattern spray, so you're gonna have a rough idle, rough hesitation on cold and warm starts. It, this all leads down to the fact is that you're gonna to have to eventually replace your injectors in general. Mostly because they also have an internal filter inside here that also gets clogged too, and you theoretically cannot clean that out. And with BMW having 12 revisions of injectors, there's a reason why they keep remaking them. So that's the clogged part that you're gonna see. Now, the leaking part, like I said, is on the spark plug. So you got your injector that's here, and you got your spark plug that's like right about here for demonstration purposes. Your fuel is gonna be leaking out of your injector, and it's gonna be getting on the tip of your spark plug. And the problem is, is that you're gonna have that, is that it's going to, when you go and start your car, it's gonna start fouling out this plug, and your car is gonna just hesitate. It's just, it's not gonna fully start over or it's gonna sit there and misfire like crazy. The easy check to see if you have a leaky injector, meaning it just leaks fuel right out of the top and it's on your spark plug, you just pull your spark plug out. You just pull it out. It may not be drenched in fuel, but it may. Uh, but all you have to do is just smell the tip. If you smell any indication of fuel on this tip of your spark plug, anywhere right here on the threads and even on the tip electrode, then you know you have a leaky injector. Sometimes you won't have misfire codes with an injector. So when my injectors went out, so I replaced all my six injectors with new Index 12s. If you guys haven't caught that DIY video, I have it here at the top, I'll post it up there. Take a look at that. It's a, it's gonna save you like seven hundred and some dollars to replace them out, uh, you know, and it's not that difficult to do. It really isn't. It's just repetitive, just cause you have to replace six of them out. But using the right tools and the step-by-step -step and that DIY video uh, will save you the money right there. So when I had to replace all six of mine out, I had fuel mixture codes, which it was telling me in my bank too that I had a problem with the fuel mixture. Now I was having rough starts and idle, so I knew you know injectors could definitely be on there. I went ahead and replaced my primary O2 sensors just because they were original ones and I wanted to replace those out because your O2 sensors tell you if you have fuel mixture issues. Now, during that time, there wasn't that, that much information out, and some people would say, oh, it'd be your O2 sensor, so it'd be your injectors. Well, I knew I wanted to replace my O2 sensors out in general just because of, you know, how they were original, so I replaced them out. I still had the issue, of course, and then that led me to doing my injectors. To ensure I didn't have any problems with my injectors, I went ahead and just replaced all six instead of just that bang two. They were a lot cheaper when I did them over a year ago versus how the hiking price is now. And that's mostly because of, you know, BMW's not replacing these anymore during the recall. So a lot of that stock went away and therefore BMW hiked up the price to get your injectors. Now I highly recommend brand new genuine BMW injectors so that we don't run any issues. There's no such thing as remanufactured ones. You cannot remanufacture one, just run and put it out there. Now, if you're able to find like some index 11s used or even index 12s used i'd go for it if they have low mileage and you know everything looks good the thing is with that if you do buy used injectors you're going to have to replace this teflon seal that goes around here and you have to have a special tool to be able to replace this now you can take it to bmw and, and pay them to go ahead and replace it out but this seal basically swells up five minutes after a, there's a tip that covers everything, everything else like this. So once it's down in that injector bore hole, it conforms to that and you have a nice tight seal. 
So that's the only thing about buying them because that tool can be like 70 bucks. And then if you take a BMW to go ahead and replace it, to replace those seals, I mean, it could cost you a hundred some dollars or more, um, depending on what they want to charge you. Uh, just because that's something they don't technically always do. So there's your options, right? Uh, not a lot of people are gonna have index 11s and 12s used because they're running them in their car right now. Uh, but the prices have come down slowly. So just kind of take a look at things. If your injectors are working perfectly fine in your BMW N54, I wouldn't replace them out unless you have an issue. Just run with what you got, but just be on the lookout uh, when you're changing your plugs yourself, if you have fuel on them, or if you're starting getting kind of weird hesitation, misfires, anything else like that. Now be careful, there's other things that can lead to hesitations and everything else like that when you start up your car, so don't always think it's injectors. It could be plugs, coils, high pressure fuel pump, low pressure fuel pump, uh, and it could be O2 sensors, if you need walnut blasting, there's so many things, so many things that can all lead into everything. And that's where your homework and diagnosing will uh, come hand in hand so that way you can safely uh, determine what's really wrong with your car. All right guys, that does it for today. Just keep an eye on things. That's my, I guess that's my biggest message. If you don't have any issues, good to go. If you have issues, please look into it further. Try to figure out if it's injectors or not. Let me know if you have any questions, of course, so because I went on, I went through lots of things to check. I'd be more than helping to help you out with that. Uh, big thumbs up in the video. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll check you on the next video. Take care. Have a great day.